Hi there. I made several changes on my code. Sometimes I wanna switch to another branch for working another task, but I don't want to reset my changes or commit this. Okay, no worry about that. You wanna switch branches, but not commit what you've been working on yet or not decide the changes. So the tip is you can use git stacks. What is the git stacks? It means that you need not to commit your chain to local repository if you don't want. You need not to reset your chain. It can lose your code. You can stack your chain in somewhere else. Those chain will stay in the stack. It means that you, it's something like you move your chain to the boss and you can use it later. Now, I will have some demonstration with git stack in short and for git stack common line, I can show you in another part. Now, I will make some change on my project for demonstration. You can see the chain appear in this uh, unstaged file. And now I, I want to switch to another branch and I don't want to keep that, but I don't want to uh, decard this code now because it lose my code. And in this case, git stack is very useful. You can glitch the stack button and enter the description of the stack. It called stack name. And you should uh, write something very meaningful and clearly. It can help you in the future to help you understand what you are stacking in, uh, in this code. You can see that the chat box keeps state changes. Uh, if you want to clear the working directory, you, uh, you are not uh, check this option. Okay, you can uh, see the lead of stacks in this in here, and uh, you can see that the chain you made before is removed. But uh, your chain is uh, your chain. You don't lose your chain. You can keep your chain in stacks, and you can use any time you want. Now some. Uh, one day you want to get the change it back to working directory. It's something like you get something from the boss and put it into working directory. You can use git stack pop or apply. And your file should revert back to the modified version. And sometimes the conflict happens and you can reshow the conflict like the merge branch. Okay. Now you right click at the stack you want to move a bed. It have a two option apply and delete the stack. In the case I choose apply this. And when you click apply, this means that the chain in the stack move a bed to your working directory. And I also check to delete this stack. If you want to keep it, you don't check the option. Okay, you can see that the stack is disappear and the chain it go to back to the your working directory and now you can find continue to your work here okay that's all about this stuff i want to share in this video and i hope that you can it can help you to use this effectively thank you for your watching